So, um, <clears throat> Hitman Absolution comes out this Tuesday. Uh, I just got done um, looking at some reviews, watching like watching review uh, videos from like IGN, GameSpot, um, etc. And um, mostly, um, most of the game is very positive. There's a lot of positive um, feedback from it. Um, to be honest, I haven't really played like the first one that came out. I think around 2000. Well, the last one that came out around 2002, I think. But uh, it finally came back, and um, Agent 47 is back in the business. Now, um, as I was looking at these reviews, uh, the graphics are pretty good. Um, the voice acting is um, top notch, and um, it's a it's a stealth. It's a pretty much a stealth game, but you know you get this uh you get to play the way you want to play which i really like every time i hear about that like you know the uh <laughs> you can play any way you want uh, it excites me because you know you get to have you take control of most of the game but in this game you really don't they uh, actually put a balance between what you can actually do and what you can't do so you know you can have like some uh some freedom to do what you want to do but you know like not like a lot of freedom to like take over the whole game so you know there's some limitations but pretty much you can pretty much do what you want to do uh besides some limitations um so this game comes out for the pc ps3 and um uh, pc well 360 and um the game looks pretty good um like i said the graphics top notch and um and um yeah now as now as the first time actually actually playing um Hitman, uh to me this is a game I could really get into. If you're like a type of person that like loves us well that mostly loves to explore around. It's not really it's a sandbox game. Uh, it's mostly open world. Uh there's like one location when you, I think it's a Chinatown when it's like a like over one hundred people on one screen. Um I mean, the environments are just ridiculous. I mean, you can do interact any way you want. Now, as you, now how you can play any way you want. Like, you want to get to a target. Get, the goal, I guess, to each mission is assassinate a target. And to get to that target, you got to go through some obstacles. There's some guards you got to get through. And, um, like, you can either probably, you know, uh, uh, hit an alarm on a car, you know, set the alarm off. And um, also set an explosion, like set like a C4 on a car. The uh, guards come to it. Uh, you can detonate it, blow it up, that type of thing. Or you can uh, take out a guard that's like not by any other guards, like a guard by itself. Take his clothes and like disguise yourself to get through. So there's pretty much any, um, lots of ways to get through. Um, get lots of ways to get through, uh, lots of ways to get through um, situations. And uh, yeah, uh, I heard uh, the game probably takes about 30 plus hours. Um, that is, if you just go right straight through the um, the campaign, like the main objective, it's probably going to take less than that, probably 12, 13 hours. But there's a lot of stuff to come back from, so you know, don't like, don't really rush it. There's also like some side objectives, like you would play a mission and like say you had to. Beat beat the mission without killing the guards. Beat the mission with uh, with setting off no alarms, that type of thing. So uh, there's a lot of a um, lot of lot of replay value right there, so you can go back to. And um, also there's a little thing um, we can create your own levels, your own missions, and stuff like that. You get to compete against your friends, which I found is pretty cool. So there's a lot of it's a pretty much all rounder. You got the limitations, the graphic top notch, sound acting, pretty much anything as a stealth game. Um, but uh, if you don't like stealth games, I highly don't pick don't pick it up because you're probably gonna get probably frustrated. And uh, this game requires a lot of ten, uh, patience. Uh, out of all the reviews I just read, patience is probably one of the uh, things they said a lot. Like patience is the key to this game. You just can't really go rush in there. Well, actually, you can, but I don't think how you don't think you're gonna survive that long. Just like this honor, you probably can't survive by getting a lot of shots. Same thing as Hitman. But uh, pretty much, you know, you you can play any way you want to play. But you know, patience is the key. So take your time. You know, yeah. So uh, so uh, pretty much, uh, my thoughts about this is pretty good. Uh, I think the game actually gonna win some type of award. 
Now, um, out of the game of the years, out of the game of the year nominate nominate contenders and stuff like that, I think uh, Hitman can absolutely be be a contender, uh, no doubt. But you know, um, it's just like these type of games that surprise you. But this game just finally came back. I mean, most people miss this game so much. I have I heard about the game. I haven't really played it back on the PS2. But this, uh, by looking at this review, looking at the gameplay, looking at the graphics and all that, it makes me definitely want to buy this game first day and um, play it myself. So uh, that's pretty much a review um, of the Hitman Absolution. It comes out this Tuesday, along with PlayStation All-Stars. Uh, I'm very eager to see the reviews on that, too. But pretty much for Hitman Absolution, the reviews are very positive and, yeah. And I think it's going to be a contender for game of the year, no doubt. All right, this is KCB3. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoy. And have an amazing day, everybody.